All right, now let's look at number two. What did you figure out for number two? 0.54, and say it to me as a sentence. Okay, is it chance or is it probability? Because chance usually implies percent. Probability usually implies the decimal form. They're equivalent, and you could say it properly, and people would know what you meant. But I want you to practice saying it properly and specifically saying what it's asking for for that problem. If it started with the decimal form, your answer, unless it tells you convert this, your answer should probably also be in decimal form, right? So carefully say to me one more time for 0.54, how would I say that as my answer? 0.54 is the probability of not getting an A. Good. So on, on problem number one, I'm boxing the one that I think answers the question that was asked. And on problem number two, I'm going to box this up because it was asking what is the probability of not getting an A. And so we said 0.54 is the probability of not getting an A. What if I asked you, what is the likelihood that you won't get an A? Or what are the chances that you won't get an A? How would you state it then? Remember, one's asking for a percent and one's asking for a decimal. So we have to keep straight which one we're asking for. So if I say likelihood or chance, I'm probably looking for a percent. Okay, so I want to say what for this one? If I ask you for the likelihood of not getting an A, what could you say? 54% is the likelihood of not getting an A. It is, and I would put it at the beginning and say the likelihood And we'll slide that over of not getting an A is 54%. Or you could say I'm 54% likely to not get an A. Something like that would also be appropriate. But the question wasn't asking for it in the percent form for your answer. Do you see the distinction there? Be careful on that, and I'm, I'm, I'm really harping on the details here because when you're in statistics, it is all about the details. So you want to pay attention to those and start getting those in your focus so that you don't forget the details. Okay? So there we are. The likelihood of not getting an A is 54%. For your class, it's much, much lower. So just keep, keep going. You're doing great. All right, we have one more formula that we want to look at, and that is 